Hello my friends, today we are working on yet again another project. Today's project is going to be building a new area, a new area for the birds. You might be saying why? Well, as you can see in the back orchard has been overrun with ducks and chickens and all that type of things like that and it's starting to put a lot of pressure on the trees. But on the upside is we're getting amazing manure and everything like that fertilization from the birds and chickens and turkeys and things like that so and everything back there is growing three times faster than anything else on the farm just because it has a a lot of manure so what we're going to do here is we're going to fence in this whole entire our west food forest actually we got our west food forest we got our west food forest we got our south food forest we got our east food forest and we got our north food forest so um, 360 here so anyway I would like to rotate them so then we get an even um, amount of pressure around the farm here and the other thing too is the back food forest is all the fruits coming on when the birds are really hungry which if you know ducks and things like that they're perpetually hungry they will eat the little brand new baby figs right off the tree before they're even close to ripe. Um, and I've already seen Tom jumping up in the mulberry tree and trying to pack just the brand new uh, mulberries that are up in the mulberry tree. Over here, there's loads of forage. There's loads of grass and all types of crazy stuff. And uh, the only reason they're targeting the trees is that's the only green lush uh, growth back there right now. They've eaten everything else. so. This is gonna take them several months to knock down. That's at least what I'm thinking. So, and then eventually we will uh, keep moving them around and everything like that. I was thinking about doing uh, Premier netting and things like that. And me and Premier netting hate each other. So, anyway, not doing that. We made the, we went out, made the investment, and we're going to do cattle panels. We're gonna put a big old swinging gate up there. We're reusing that one from over there put it over there so just in case we need any more dirt dropped off or chip truck comes again we can have it drop it right in there so we'll have a big swinging gate and buggy can fit in there and everything like that so that's super cool um and i think that's it so join us today as we get some work done on this beautiful sunny texas day Straight post there, buddy. We got the whole entire thing done, pretty much. Totally done up till this point up here. 
James has been steadily working on getting a very sturdy H brace. Let me, uh, because we're gonna have a 16 foot gate that runs down here. And it's kind of downhill and everything like that, so that's what we've been working on. So we got, got these six inch round posts in the ground here, all concreted in, all three of them here. Yeah, the fence isn't the straightest in the world. We don't, we don't live in a perfect world anyway, so it doesn't even matter. We were going to pick up some string. Who's counting? Anyway, next thing is we have to take some black mesh and go on the inside here and mesh the inside of the fence so it will keep the birds in 100%. We are in the garden today and it's almost evening time. It's almost dinner time and I'm excited because we're going to be growing corn. So we're going to be growing in kiddie pools. So go get your kiddie pools, get your totes, get all your things. Self watering systems is what we're setting up this year. We're going to be attempting to grow corn to eat, um, popcorn and sweet corn. Um, so get you some heirloom seeds, something that you can keep and have on hand, survival seeds, and let's grow some corn together this year. It's gonna be super fun. Okay, so we just got back from Dollar General and they still had some kiddie pools and we have pink. So a friend of mine is joking. She says, I have a pink, white, and blue. <laughs> garden theme going on instead of red white and blue we have pink white and blue um so anyway we're going to be adding these kiddie pools just kind of setting them up in this area and then i'm going to be sewing up some grow bags for them this evening and when my seeds come in we'll have the soil all ready and just pop the seeds in the grow bags so generally speaking um corn you want um one kiddie pool of corn per person to feed your family. Um, so if you're doing it this method, or 12 to 15 stalks of corn will feed one person generally for about a year's worth of corn is what I'm reading and understanding from friends. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. That's the math that I'm doing. I cross reference this with a good friend of mine. So shout out to my good friend. <laughs> over on Taylor's Tiny Farm. You can follow her over on Instagram. Um, so one kiddie pool per person. We're going to fill them up with grow bags. They're going to be our self-watering containers. And um, yeah, let's get them set up. I got big texts for my helper right now. And Miss Grace. Okay. And for those of you who want to know, these pools down here for us at the Dollar General are $9 each. Maybe you can find them for a better price. Check out Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, um, any of the dollar stores. Look around, price them out. These are the small size pools, guys. These are the smallest size that they have. So that's what we're dealing with here for growing corn. like that configuration pretty well. I got nine kiddie pools here and I ended up putting one up there at the top and then the two rows. So I'm thinking that is looking pretty, pretty good. And I like that I can walk down the middle here and be able to easily access all the pools. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking at least two, maybe three, Maybe three grow bags in each pool is what I'm thinking. Um, and let's see, three grow bags. If we put five um, stalks of corn in each one, that will be 15 stalks of corn. So that will feed everybody. Plus we have an extra. So that'll be super cool. Um, and then I'm going to be doing... Um, popcorn and sweet corn so that's coming my seeds are coming in but I did have seeds come in today I wanted to show you what I got we got some seeds today these are from Amazon these are Texas 
wildflowers. It's a collection of 22 annuals and perennials, it says. Um, Texas blue bonnet, Indian blanket flower, white yarrow, lance, um, bachelor button, plains, corpses, I don't know, snowy primrose, corn poppy, candy tuft, blue flax, alyssum, baby's breath, evening primrose, prairie coneflower, black eyed Susan, I love them, clasping coneflower, purple cornflower, coneflower. Sorry. <laughs> Baby snapdragon, scarlet flax, lemon mint, phlox, scarlet sage. Hope I'm saying that right. Really, really cool. I'm excited that some of these are perennials, so that means some of these will be growing back for me. So I think um, in some of my buckets over here, uh, some of some of my pools, I still have room, you see like in the center here. So I'm thinking, and like this one definitely, I have a big space. So I'm thinking of adding a center um, one and the center will be flowers, which will be great because it'll attract all of our pollinators. So you see, even in these pools here, I have a center space available where I can still add another bucket or a grow bag. Um, so that's what I'm thinking of doing that so that um, we can have some beautiful flowers. It'll look really pretty in the garden and it'll be good for pollination. But look, look at these tomato plants. They are doing amazing. And they even have, look guys, look. So cool. Yellow flowers on here. So we're gonna be having tomatoes really soon. The tomatoes are gonna be coming. So that is super cool. Sun surprised me and went ahead and made dinner. I just came in from the garden. I brought the salad in, but he decided to make a breakfast dinner, so everybody's having pancakes and eggs. Thank you, son. <laughs> Welker is our is our family term for you're welcome. So yummy pancakes made with our gluten-free all-purpose flour that we love. And um, eggs from our farm and salad. I stand corrected, Buddy made the pancakes. No. Buddy made the pancakes. And no. James made the eggs. Yep. But don't let him fool you. Matt can cook. Well, so. yeah, I cook like, we all take turns in the family, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do. If everybody cooks dinner once a night, then mama only has to cook dinner like once a week. Guess who don't gotta cook? <laughs> Guess who doesn't have to cook? Oh. 